from our knitting wagon. Isn't that cool? And here is our bed because you're asking for it. On this beautiful view. Hello everyone, we're in the County Cork. We're going to eat a jelly. Time for dessert. Hello everyone, welcome in County Cork. We're staying here for a few days. We're staying in the camping site that you have seen for a while. And now we're going to go and travel a bit around to see what's interesting this area can offer and eat some jelly. I'm looking for a post office. Knitting a wagon for the rescue. We just help a couple to get out of the class. If you are wondering where we are, we are in the Bantry, so exactly the same place that we were a week ago. So I have frothed that much, and you have that feeling when you're finishing with the yarn that you frog that you back your old spot. Can't wait. We have never tried so I thought let's go for it. It's one euro and I got a chocolate. It's quite good. If you have Lidl around check it out. It's not sponsored or anything. And he got um, cappuccino. Right? Right? Did you like it? It's okay. It's okay.
only half the play set. Now we're heading for a walk around this camping site. It's quite big and we've actually walked around here and there and still be in the camping and did four kilometers something. So quite good, I think an hour. So it got a little bit colder. So I'm wearing some knitwear. So beautiful hat. So I'm wearing just knit hat, which is a free pattern. And if you have never knit a hat, it's a bulky, you use bulky yarn. And there is a free tutorial on this channel. So check it out, playlist, how I. Just scroll down below. Uh, you probably see a few videos there. And I'm wearing my new design. Um, I don't know when it's going to come up. Maybe it's already there, but I call it Wild Bloom. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Okay, a few words about this camping site. So, showers are for free. If you want to use water to wash your dishes, you need five cents. Uh, if you have a, your own hair dryer, you can definitely plug it in and dry your hair. I think that's all of the most important thing, I would say, that I'll take for consideration does the camping site has. So, like it? Let's see where we're going to head next. The sun is shining, unbelievable. And I haven't mentioned, but the last a trip or two trips ago, I bought this, what's it is, t-shirt. And it's mostly wool. Amazing, isn't it? Merino, apparently. Yeah. So what you can see over here, it's a copper mine. It's just that they pour water or the water just fill it in. Well, are we going for a walk? on the beach but it's a little bit windy and i know the sun is shining and you're probably laughing good thing no one is around and i can wear my hat which is go slow hat check it out that's some donegal irish yarn and here is a beautiful british yarn and my new design hopefully soon so definitely follow my instagram because and youtube down below because once i post a finished object video will give 20% off for the pattern uh, for 48 hours. Not that bad under my neck. Ready to go. Oh god! <laughs> so warm! Her idea to go for swim. Ready? Go! <laughs> 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 
Savvy swimming. Very good. <laughs> Very nice. So nice. It's cold. I know it's sunny, but it's cold. So we are at the same place, Mizzen Head, but we're not going, oh, you can see this over here, uh, but we're not going to get the tickets. We were here last week, actually, last weekend. I'm going to leave the link down below or somewhere over here. So click on it and check it out. It's an amazing bridge leading you to the farthest point towards America. So yeah, freeze that if you want to, but briefly, it was used and built around 3000 to 2000 years before Christ and the bone was found over here which was established for 2000 before Christ and it was used also 100 before Christ for some seashells and sea gifting and offerings and food offerings but in 80 and it was stopped until Christianity entered Ireland but it was reused in the 18th century when uh, the priest couldn't do a mass so they were gathering over here around the tongue like this one And I'm almost ready to fold this video. So as, I, as you can see, I have a stockinette stitch and a one row of pearl, and I'm doing one by one. And once I achieve the same length, I'm going to fold it and join it together. Beautiful ribbing. Right, so I'm knitting and I did exactly the same rounds as in the, the stockinette. I flip it on the wrong side and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it. And the way I'm doing it, look at this, I have that end. Hope you can see those little loops over here. That's what I'll be grabbing with my left needle and then knitting a knitting one with this stitch that I have on the left needle. And that's how I grab it.
we're in our last night um, in a completely different camping site. I'll show you a bit. So we definitely had uh, have GPS coordinates. And two kilometers uh, walk on the right, you have a small village. You have a pub, restaurant with the beautiful views. So obviously, with the weather like this, everyone's outside. And you have a small kind of a green area. Let's call that away. When I'm sitting right now. And I can bet you want to see the view. Number seven is our camping site. And we're going to the number eight now, Dromberg Stone Cycle. But we actually are where the quay is, so we have a bit of walking to do. Well, we're walking. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking for that cycle and we went up uh, if you go from the camping site and you turn left and then we turn the first right we just walked up there and we couldn't find anything there wasn't any signs but there's amazing view so no problems now we have approximately six and a half, six and a half kilometers because Seb has GPS and we're still looking for drum roast stone cycle and I see the sign Yay! We have a sign! Let's go! Okay, so we have a circle over here which contains 17 stones. Two main ones are at the entrance because it's facing the smaller one over there. There was a burial in the middle in around 800, I think, before Christ. Are you tempted to go inside? So we have a flat stone, which is facing the entrance. Do we have a well over here? 